So Tony um, had this idea where he says, let's go and talk about this idea about taking two World War II veterans and students back for the 75th commemoration services. And I said, that's going to be a lot of work, but I'm with you on it. But really, as an educator, I was like, yes, this is what I'm trying to do. This is what I want my students to see. And it was being accomplished. And it was only something that can be accomplished when they experience it firsthand. Tony then um, created a GoFundMe page and from that, um, there were a lot of comments, especially a lot of comments from the Ranger Up group, the supporters. So he printed all those, cop all those comments, all pages and pages of them, and handed them to the veterans and said, this is your community, this is, these are your supporters. And um, the veterans, basically, it tears in their eyes. They just like, this is amazing. The magnitude of what they did inspires new generations. These veterans have done so much for us in securing our liberties and our freedoms. The veterans loved every single moment. They were like, they're 96 years old, but they were acting like they were in their early 20s. They were up early in the morning, ready to go, and in fact, for Jacques, we had to chase him with the wheelchair because he wouldn't sit. He was running places, basically. He was so happy. Uh, once we got to Normandy, we could hardly move 10 feet before they'd get stopped again by someone else just wanting their autograph, wanting a picture, wanting to just say, thank you for what you did, you, you liberated us. And it just, it completely took them by surprise. They had no clue that the people were this thankful. Merci, Merci. Grâce à vous on est là and to meet with the French people who really sincerely love them in such a way that strangers can, coming up to him, giving him kisses. Mothers were raising their babies up just for a kiss from him. He would kneel down, or, and George would kneel down to, be, to um, embrace the little children because the French people kept calling them their liberators, their liberateurs. So one of the things that happens in Normandy is there was a lot of um, reenactors. There was a, dr a guy who had a Jeep and we asked him, so the students went down and asked him, like, is there any chance you would give a World War II veteran a ride on this, this Jeep? And so George, he, he was dressed in his gear and George got in and was able to ride down the beaches in a World War II Jeep. Um, and I mean, you just see his face lit up and his, his wife and George said that was, next to their marriage, one of the best moments in their life was being able to kind of experience that again. And I mean, it was just, you, it was really neat to see. The trip was life-changing, not only for the students and for the teachers, but for the veterans as well and their companions. They, you see the honor from them being honored to be able to go on the trip. Um, I, know, I remember Jacques saying, like, why do you want me to go with you? Like, you really want me to go? And they, it's almost like they didn't understand that you guys are heroes. You see that with many World War II veterans, is they just did what they were what they needed to do at the time it needed to be done. And that's one of the reasons they're the greatest generations. I just want to say thank you so much to all of you that donated. You, you created an amazing experience for these veterans. And this is why I love doing this and why I love this community so much. Thank you.